Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over this really cool glow animation from Cinepax right here. So these are the different animations you get in this pack. Now this isn't a plugin, this is just an effect that is used as an overlay. And don't worry, this entire pack is free. Now we'll be doing a video tomorrow on the actual paid version of the glow animation which I believe comes with like 40 or 50 more um, animations I believe it costs around 45 to 50 dollars but this video I'm just going to focus on the free version and again tomorrow I'll be doing a video on the actual paid version of this glow animation and again this um, pack is from Cinepax so I highly encourage you to go ahead and check them out I have an affiliate link down in the, in the description below so if you use my code Joshua Winkins you will get five dollars off your order so not only you're going to save five dollars but that part of that commission will go towards uh, me so it'll just basically help uh, support the channel so it's just a way of helping you support um, the, or helping to support the channel so what the first thing you want to do is you want to download this effect from Cinepax right here so let's go ahead over the import section right here and then I'll go find the glow animations right here so here are all the different glow animations now I put this into the old uh, into its own folder this is not how it'll actually come but here are all the different glow animations animations um, right here so you want to head to the link down in the description below and you can just download this pack right here and here are all of the different effects right here so this is what it looks like right here here are all of the different effects and this pack has to offer I believe it comes with about like 10 different effects so let's head over here I'll go to the beginning and I'll kind of just go frame by frame and show you the different effects. Now again, this is just kind of like a quick little tutorial. So you, this might be that not every single glow animation might might be might not be used in the best um, like situation. But I still want to show you what this pack actually has to offer. So let's go frame by frame right here. As you can see, you have these glowing, you have these animated like devil horns. You have this animated pumpkin face right here. You have like lightning going right down right here and then you have this little animation right here so those are the kind of animations I use right there now I want to go to this animation right here which is like one of a more like a transition so you have this glow animation then you have this really cool animation where the, this is like a glow circle glowing circle goes around the person right here and then you have Right here, you have like electricity going up his body, as well as you have a little purple circle going around his hand and the football right there. And then what I just did right here was I kind of just had, if you can watch the ball right here, I had some electricity go around the ball right there. And then right here, you have this animation, which is like another form of a transition, really cool effect. And then right here, I just kind of put some lightning around. I believe that's Danny Amendola right there. And there you go. That's pretty much all the animations. Again, this is more of like a very basic tutorial. I just wanted to cover all the different animations this pack has to offer right here. So I'll go ahead and play it right here. And this is what the final video looks like right here. I think it's a really cool effect and of course this video may not be like the best example of this effect but hopefully you can use some of these effects in your own video now I believe a couple of them that I did not cover um, I believe I didn't cover this one right here so you have this really cool sparks effect right here so this is one effect I believe I didn't cover and then you have this which I guess I already did cover and then this is one that I actually did not cover right here so you have these really cool I don't know, like marshmallow eyes right here marshmallow I mean like that the artist but this is definitely a really cool little animation I didn't really find a good use in this video because it wasn't really a good like a shot of someone looking directly at the camera but those were the animations come from right here so what you basically want to do is you want to keyframe the animations so I'll go ahead and quickly just open up a test right here now remember you don't have to animate any of these these are over already pre-animated or whatever you want to call it um, so you don't actually have to animate anything. What you're doing is you're just keyframing um, the effect to make sure that it stays on the person. So let's head over here and what you wanna do right here. Now this, what you're gonna do is you're just going to, actually I'll just get rid of this right here to give you a better example. So let's say I wanna use this circle right here. So this legs cut out. So let's apply the effect right here and there we go. 
now you look at the effect and say okay well that's great but I can't see the person so what you want to do is you want to head over to the blending mode right here and you can click on either add or you can click on screen right here and there we go now you can actually see the person um, right there so you want to the blending mode is on screen right here so let's go ahead and play it right here and as you can see well, that's not around the person right here so let's go over here and we want to just click on the transform tool and we can just move it right here and let's see how good that looks right there so let's go ahead and play it right here and as you can see that actually looks pretty good that already looks pretty close and so we can probably just leave it at that right there now if you want to move it a little bit you could key for in the scale position and rotation but i won't do that for this example right here i just want to show you that you need to add this green the, change the blending mode right here and there you go you have created this really cool effect now let's go ahead and get rid of these two effects right here and let's apply the electricity right here so let's take the electricity right here head the blending mode and head over to screen right here now what we want to do is we want to figure out which direction it's moving so it looks like it's moving in that direction right here so let's take the rotation and let's rotate it i don't know somewhere around there so what you want to do is you want to head to the beginning right here and you want to start the animation with wherever you want to start right here so I'm not 100% sure like, I don't remember exactly but something like that let's use that as an example okay so we have a starting point right here what you want to do is you have a position rotation and scale right here so you have the scale the rotation and the position all keyframe so let's go into about 120 I mean 150 right here so let's just move right here. Okay, let's go to the next frame right here. Let's put it, I don't know, something something like that. Looks pretty close. Um, let's go to the next frame right here. Let's move up a little bit and let's take the effect um, right here. Maybe we could scale it down a little bit. Something um, like that looks pretty good maybe scale it down just a little bit more um right here something like that um let's go to the next frame right here okay this time we will rotate it something like that maybe we will increase the scale just a little bit something like that go to the next frame right here something like this next frame i don't know we could move it maybe up here um then this right here let's apply it or let's just put the effect somewhere like this and the next frame and there we go again this is more just like a test but let's play the effect right here and let's see what it looks like right here so as you can see right there there we go now we've recreated this really cool lightning animation right here so let's go frame by frame and as you can see right here the lightning basically goes up and there you go you have created this really really cool lightning animation right here now let's head over to this curve right here this is the last one I'll do and then so let's head over to blending mode head over to screen right here and what you want to do is you want to start at the beginning right here keyframe position rotation and scale okay so let's head over here and what you want to do is you probably want to take the scale down just a little bit right here and actually I'm going to go in like 200% um, right there so let's go ahead and spin it right here and again you can kind of just mess with it and figure out what looks best for uh, for your video right here so I don't know let's rotate it maybe a little bit right here okay so let's go to the next frame right here let's put the animation you might want to scale it down just a little bit right here i don't know put something like this right here let's go to the next frame right here and uh, maybe actually maybe let's turn this one around the ball right here and again probably this might not always work for you know every single effect but this is just kind of a quick little test 
showing you what this effect has to offer that one looks pretty cool right there let's just leave it right there let's move this one right here and I don't know let's rotate this one maybe just a little bit right here it definitely will take a long time to kind of figure out what you like I would encourage you to use this animation um, for more of like a, a circle so for example this ball is uses kind of like a circle right here let's just put it right here just for the sake of the video um, and I don't know let's put it somewhere like that so that's just kind of like the basics of how to create it right here so let's go ahead and play the effect right here so this is what the effect looks like right here not perfect but kind of you, at least you understand kind of the basics of how to create this effect right here so let's head over here go frame by frame so there you go actually I, I, now that I notice it as you can see right here that's a little bit off right here so you have to go in and fix it right there but that's basically the basics of how to create the effect right there let's go back to the one that I put a lot more time and effort into and this is what it looks like right here definitely a really cool and definitely really interesting effect definitely encourage you to go ahead and head down in the description below and download this effect again it's not a plugin it's just more of an overlay from Cinefax anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace